Hi, this is Kamran with PSSC Labs here to show you today how to install your new cluster into a rack unit. First we're going to take the storage node rails which are included and uh, put those on first. To put them on you're going to have to extend the rails from the front out. Uh, you'll see that this is in the front extending out from the front and not from the back. This is critical. To install the rail insert the notches of the rail into the desired hole. After the black tabs have been snapped into place, be sure to use the fat, short, silver screw and screw it into the front hole. Repeat the same step on the rear end of the rack unit. To insert a cage nut, Go from the inside of the rack, not the outside. Use the cage nut tool provided and lip it under the bendable outside and fasten it into place. Insert the storage node cage nuts two holes above the rail and five holes below the rail. Before inserting the storage node, extend the rails out as so. You will hear them lock into place. Please note, the storage node is very heavy. We are currently using a lift so that we don't hurt ourselves. You will need at least two people to put in the storage node. It is very heavy. To insert the storage node into the rails, line up the rails that are installed onto the storage node with the rails that you just installed on the rack. After the node's rails are lined up, slowly start sliding it into place on the rack. Once the click is heard, it is locked into place. In order to further slide the storage node into the rack, the safety tabs must be pressed in. There is a safety tab on each side. As you press it in, slide the node securely into place. Secure the node with four black screws on each corner. For the head node, install the rails as so. With the rail extending outwards from the front, place the rail on the inside of the rack mounts, like so. Add a large top screw below the already included screw. Follow the same steps for the rear end of the rail and the opposite side of the rail. Make sure that the left and right rails are even and that they are even from front to back as well. After installing the rails, put one cage nut above the rail and one cage nut below the rail. Repeat the step on both sides. Before installing the head node, extend the rails out all the way forward until they stop. Also, Slide the ball bearings all the way forward until they stop. You are now ready to install your head node. Make sure that the rails on the side of the head node line up with the rails on the rack. Be sure to also use a lift for this device as well because it is very heavy. After the head node rails have lined up, go ahead and slide it into place until it stops. There is a switch on both sides of the head node rail. One goes up, one goes down. Hit these switches and it will allow you to further push the head node into place. Insert screws into the four previously placed cage nuts. To install the compute nodes into the rack, place four cage nuts as so on the front and the rear of the rack unit. To install the rear compute node brackets, place them as so with the, ex the longer end 
extending from the top. Line up the rear brackets with the rails on the side of the compute node. After they are lined up, slide the compute node into place. Repeat the same step for all compute nodes. To secure the compute nodes, place four black screws into the previously placed cage nuts. Repeat this step on both sides. To mount the switch, place four cage nuts wherever you are going to mount the switch. There is no designated location for mounting the switch. Take a cable from ETH0 and plug it into the switch. Also take a cable from IPMI and plug it into the switch. Repeat this step for all nodes. After connecting all network cables, you can now connect power to all of your systems. Be sure to also apply power to the switch. ETH1 on the head node is your public outside connection. Plug in a cable from ETH1 into an outside switch. To power on the cluster, you must first power on the storage node. Wait until the storage node fully boots up into the login prompt before proceeding. After booting up the storage node, you then proceed to power on the head node. Wait for the head node to fully power up into the login prompt before proceeding. After the head node is fully booted up, you can then proceed to power on the compute nodes one at a time.